Relegation candidates Sacho and Montpellier met at the Stade Auguste Bonnel, where both sides were looking for just their third victory of the season. Montpellier came in without a win in 11 matches, while Sacho found themselves seven points from safety after picking up just three points since the end of November. Eve Renard had seen his Sacho side win just once since he took over in October. Morgan Sanson nearly caught out Sacho goalkeeper Pierre Croix with a long range effort. Cannon back off the goalpost. Anthony Munier will then unable to follow up. The goal was to come soon after. A long goal kick was flicked on before Remy Cabea played the ball through. And it wasn't dealt with by defender Sebastian Courtia. That allows Munier to race clear. And he made no mistake, tucking neatly past Croix for his second goal of the campaign. Croce really making a right mess of that defensive clearance. And yeah, making no mistake with just the goalkeeper to beat. Well, things were to get worse for Sosho just a few minutes later. Nathan Sincala seeing red for a reckless tackle on Sanson. A man and a goal down at half time. The show had a mountain to climb. Roland Kubis was searching for his first league out win since 2005. And he almost saw his side double their advantage, this time through Cabea. Exquisite chip, though, acrobatically tipped away by Cross. Shaka Tiene came on as a second half substitute. He'd been on the pitch for just a matter of minutes before he made the points safe on 74 minutes. The defender slotting past across for Suleiman Diawara's unselfish layoff. That's a third goal of the season for the former Paris Saint Germain man. Tiene, of course, also scored the injury time winner in the corresponding fixture back in week three in August. Two 0 Montpellier, the final score, a first away win since February for the 2012 champions. To show his top-flight status, hangs in the balance as they fall ten points away from safety.